Hi guys, I am back with one of my favorite super friends, Wonder Woman. Of course, in this visage, she's Wonder Kitty, as they called her. There have been several different versions of her. You actually can get a red bear that was Wonder Bear. So she's been, she's like the new incarnation of this, because there was two different versions of Wonder Kitty. And then they did Wonder Bear with the new Batman Superman bears, which she's beautiful. And they even made a brand new costume, which I'm debating getting, because it's just as cool as this one. This is actually like the third one too. Like that was the third one. So because there was one that was like really sparkly um, dress on the bottom, kind of like this material here. Which again, I love the detail they put in this. I mean, they really go out, especially on the girls. Girls get the best outfits, but I love it. She got the star spangled skirt. She's got her logo here. I love the way they make this look. And again, if you, just her chest alone, they give her a logo, which is really cool. So like, unlike the boys, they didn't put the, I guess the the embossed logo all over her because maybe they thought it would be tacky on her because it's more of a rugged thing. And they want to make her look more dainty. So what they did is they instead they put stars all over her. So that's why we're wearing the white glasses. We wanted to match. So we got to match the girls especially. Um, the only problem with this is it does slide down a lot. So you wouldn't even see the logo if it was all the way up the way it's supposed to be. So it comes up like this. Very adorable. I love her little bracelets here, which should probably be down here. And climbed, climbed up her arm. Because those are her bracelets that she used to block bullets. Um, if you know anything about Wonder Woman, she was a... Um, a child that uh, uh, her mother from Thermoskia wanted, and the, 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 the queen of the Amazons, after they had banished themselves to this island, because, again, the wars of man, they couldn't stand it anymore, and they wanted an escape, and they were supposed to be there to help appease the men, but, again, men still wanted what they wanted. So, anyway, any rate, they live on Themyscira. Uh Wonder Woman is the stepdaughter, so to speak, to the, the queen, and she had a, another do a sister, which they don't show in the movie. They kind of go vague on some of the details on that. She wasn't the only daughter because she had a competition from her sister. And she was the stepdaughter because she was actually fashioned by the gods and given to them. And as the movie kind of does depict, she does become a weapon for um, justice. But initially, she didn't have all the powers that they said she had. Originally, she was just a normal uh, Amazon who had just... She's just more physically adept at doing all the things they need to do to protect their little island. I mean, she was one of the strongest, fastest, um, sharpest, most skilled with the weapons. And so she actually won the contest on her own without any special abilities. And by winning the contest, she got to go to be a liaison for an ambassador, so to speak, for Themyscira to the human world, which obviously anytime you do a comic book or any kind of show in America, she had to come to America, of all countries, right? So she came to America in disguise as Diana Prince, and she, in her after hours, would be Wonder Woman. So she had these bracelets that would protect her from uh, bullets, because she goes really fast, uh, but when she actually battled the gods, because they were going to leave her, if they were tired of the wars, they were tired of mankind, and the, the Amazons couldn't live without the gods. So she battled the gods, she battled Zeus himself. Of course she wasn't going to win, but her courage was so strong that she battled so well that he actually gave her Superman like abilities. So that's how she got the, the, the ability to fly, her super strength, um, and speed and all that fun stuff. So that's why she is the one we know today. Um, she does have her limits because she has made the clay of the islands. So she's not as powerful as Superman because of that, but she's very close. And she doesn't really need the blades anymore, but they are for decoration. She's used to them now. She still can use them if she wanted to, but she is bulletproof. And if you real, if you remember, she also had a visible plane. If you ever saw them, the TV show, which I loved. I love the actress they played. Um, still beautiful today. Um, so Wonder Woman was one of my favorite shows back in the day. But she doesn't need the visible plane anymore because now she can fly. And she is definitely one of the um, toughest super friends and female characters in all the DC Universe. Love her to death. And here's the ironic part. Here's a little, little secret too. I know people say that they have this rule about not killing. Um, back in the day when these movies, these comic books were first came about, we were about patriotism in this country. She kind of symbolized that like Superman did. And so during the war times, we still wrote comic books that were depictive of the, the political climate at the time. So when people say that Batman wouldn't kill someone, that's bull. Batman's a human just like she was at the time. Um, if it came down to it to protect their own lives, they would have to kill the person, especially if what they were doing was harming and killing other people. And so I loved about her, the, even in the modern times, they didn't pussify with her, like with Batman stopped killing people, or Batman stopped being as aggressive, and nobody knows that he might have killed people in the past to save his own life, right, and save his, his counterparts, is that one time when a uh, guy was manipulating Superman, 
and he was using Superman. This guy, this uh, this psychic, was using Superman to kill people. She got the last little truth around him and asked him if I, if you were to get away, would you do this again? He said unequivocally, yes. He would definitely control Superman again to kill people. She snapped his neck. I loved it. That's why I love her because she's willing to make the hard decisions, which is great. I love this little tiara too, right? It comes with a little tiara. Um, if you make the head a little bit too fat, tiara kind of wants to slide too much. Kind of want to be careful about not overstepping the head. So this here stays because they don't make the band long enough, I think, for a bigger head. I love these little shoes, which are amazing. Look cute on her. Does she have anything on her feet? Oh, she has the Wonder Woman logo, which we love. It's really cool. And just a red foot. So def but the red's amazing. It's so again, like I said, which is what I loved about her comic book and I collected it, is that she was truly an Amazon, tough as nails, and would do whatever it took to save mankind, even from evil. So that's great. And, I love her. and she's definitely one of my favorite characters in my DC set. I just love her to death. So you guys have to join us again. Leave your comments below. What do you think? And we'll come back and see what we bring tomorrow. See you guys all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.